Konnichiwa and good morning everybody. Welcome to the basic Japanese language class for beginners. We have been doing katakana, hiragana, kanji characters in these previous classes with a lot of new words and lot of sound practice, lot of word practice. I hope that now you feel more comfortable and you are able to pronounce the words properly. You can make sentences on your own. So I'm sure you are a little more confident and comfortable than you were in the beginning. Well, now in our previous classes, we have done how to ask name. We have done how to ask about specialization. We have also studied how to ask age. So today something new for you. After this, probably when you talk to someone, you would also want to tell about your hobbies. So well, we have Shumi over here. Shumi is hobby. Shumi in Japanese means hobby. So I will read the conversation for you. The basic structure is similar just by introducing this word Shumi after anatano. You can easily ask someone their hobby, what they like doing. So well, it is right here. Anata no shumi wa nan desu ka? Watashi no shumi wa ongaku desu. Ongaku is music. Watashi no shumi wa tennis desu. Tennis. Watashi no shumi wa yama nobori desu. Mountaineering. Watashi no shumi wa piano desu. Piano, of course, you all know. Watashi no shumi wa cycling desu. Watashi no shumi wa dokusho desu. Dokusho is reading. Watashi no shumi wa shashin desu. Shashin is photography. Watashi no shumi wa suie desu. Suie is swimming. So, well, you could replace ongaku with any of these over here and you could be telling about what you like doing, what your hobby is. It is all given in hiragana and katakana over here. So, you could please study your hiragana also like this. Try to remember the hiragana characters as well. Now, also what you can do over here, very simple. We did Anata no shumi wa on gaku desu. Okay. We replaced on gaku with lot of other things like yama nobori, suie, and a lot of other things. In a similar manner, you can also replace anatano over here as you have done earlier with okasan, tomodachi, sensei, watashi. So, any of these and more whatever vocabulary you remember you can always replace anata with any of these and you can add no later on meaning watashi no mine okasans. Tomodachis, senseis and mine. So, all of it you can ask and answer. You can see over here. Anata no shumi wa nan desu ka? Watashi no shumi wa ongaku desu. Same sentence, but over here watashi can be replaced with tomodachi, rao san, ok san, shujin and tanaka sensei or any anybody else you want to talk about. Now, the vocabulary for shumi, tennis as you can see is tennis, yamanobori, piano, cycling, dokusho, Shashin, suie. So, these we did in our previous slide over here. Now, there is new vocabulary for you. Ryoko, 
Ryoko is traveling. Ega. Ega is pictures, movies. And Dorama. Dorama is of course an English word. Drama, which of course you know what it is. So, you could use any of these in place of shumi, in place of shumi over here. You can tell what your shumi is. Now, we have been practicing numbers in our previous lessons. A certain group in each class. So, today we will do this last group from 90 till 100. This is just for pronunciation and we need to do the numbers really well because we need them for a lot of things later on. Lot of things you can do with numbers. You have to tell time, you have to buy things, you have to go so many miles, you have to do a lot of things, count a lot of things. So, numbers are really, really essential. We have Kyuju Ichi, Kyuju Ni, Kyuju San, Kyuju Yon or Kyuju Shi, Kyuju Go, Kyuju Roku, Kyuju Nana or Kyuju Shichi, Kyuju Hachi, Kyuju Q and then for 100, it is different, it is Hyaku. Please remember 100 is pronounced as Hyaku, Hyaku, a short sound Hya, Hyaku. Okay? So, with this we finish your numbers till 100. I hope you will do it at home and memorize them as fast as you can. So, now today we will do something new. What time is it now? Imananji desu ka? So, now you, you know this word nan, you know this and you know ka over here. There are two new words ima and ji. We will do those very soon, but before that I want you to listen to this dialogue carefully. Suimasen, ima nanji desu ka? Shichiji desu. Well, how much did you understand now from the dialogue? I will read it out to you once and then I will explain. This is a dialogue between two people, Karuna san and Arun san. A small dialogue, short conversation over here. Sumimasen, ima nanji desu ka? Shichiji desu. Gakko wa nanji kara desu ka? Hachiji kara desu. Nanji made desu ka? Gogo sanji made desu. Arigato gozaimasu. Dou itashimashite. So, I am sure 50 percent is understood from here. Whatever is left, of course, you can read over here one, the English translation is given and then you also have it written here in Japanese in the script. You can see from here that some of it is in hiragana, some kanjis are there for you. Well, we go back to our conversation here, our dialogue here. Sumimasen, excuse me, ima, ima means now right now at this point. Ima nanji desu ka? Nan of course, you know and after nan, if you put this counter g, this word g, it denotes time, it shows time. It means o'clock is equivalent to o'clock in English. Sumimasen, ima nanji desu ka? What time is it now? Shichiji desu. Shichi of course, you have done. So, number 7 shichiji desu. So, like this with 
each number ichi ji ni ji san ji yo ji go ji ichi ji ni ji san ji yo ji go ji so you will notice over here that so far we have done numbers as ichi ni san shi go roku so over here you will see that yon yon is a little different it is not yon it is yoji des yoji this so for time please remember it is yo and not yon now we have shichi ji des gakko wa nanji kara desu ka hachi ji kara desu nanji made desu ka gogo sanji made desu now a new word for you over here gogo gogo and gozen so gogo means evening or pm and gozen means morning or am and then of course the two phrases arigato gozaimasu and doitashi mashite arigato of course you know is thank you very much and doitashi mashite is mention not the pleasure is entirely mine the pleasure is mine and it's all right so either of either of those you could use depending on whom you are talking to if you are talking to your teacher then it has to be very very polite meaning the pleasure is entirely mine and if it is just a casual maybe asking time on the road then do itashimashite means oh it's all right it doesn't matter it's okay as i told you ima means now which corresponds to now at present at the moment in english as you can see on your screen over here then g is the counter for time g means o clock in english and if you add nan before g as in nanji desu ka it is similar in meaning to what time it is may i know the time rokuji desu as you can see goji this 5 o'clock now there is a small watch for you over here you can practice your time ichi ni san yo go roku shichi hachi kyu ju ju ichi and ju ni so now you can please repeat after me Ichi ji, ni ji, san ji, yo ji, go ji, roku ji, shichi ji. 8時9時10時11時12時。Now you will notice that yon and shichi are two different. readings over here for yon and nana so please remember that yon for and nana is yoji and shichi ji and not shiji or nanaji please this is not to be used for time yo and 
Shichi is to be used for time. So, well, we can practice hours of the day now. Sumimasen, ima nanji desu ka? A simple question you can ask and you can also answer hachiji desu. So, please repeat after me. Over here, we can practice the numbers once again. Ichiji desu. And also, we have the kanji for what is written in Roman. Ichiji desu. Niji desu. Sanji desu, yoji desu, goji desu, rokuji desu, shichiji desu, hachiji desu, kuji desu, juji desu, juichiji desu. Juniji desu. Please pronounce these two yo and shichi as is written over here and not yon or shi or nana. Please remember that for time it is yo and shichi. Now, once you know what time it is, you can say time, you can also tell the time of a place. All you need to do over here is sumimasen, Tokyo wa ima nanji desu ka? You can put the name of the place as is given over here, Tokyo wa ima nanji desu ka? So, before ima nanji desu ka, you can put the name of the place and you can ask the time of that place and you could answer Tokyo wa ima rokuji desu or shichiji desu or hachiji desu, whatever time you want to say. Now, the same question can be used for place and instead of Tokyo that we did just now, you can use Delhi which is Delhi, Pari which is Paris, Rondon which is London. The language does not have the sound L or the letter L. So, London becomes Rondon, Beijing and Singapore. So, instead of Tokyo, whatever place you want to put, you can put and ask the time of that place or that city. Now, over here you are asking time and you said Tokyo wa ima Rokuji desu. Now, there is something else that you can do over here. If you want to ask it is 6 o'clock in the morning, will 6 o'clock Rokuji just suffice? No, it will not. You have to add am over there. So, what do you say for am in Japanese? Well, in Japanese am is gozen and pm is gogo. Now, what do you do with that? Unlike English, gozen and gogo will be written or said before time, before time. That is ima gogo rokuji desu, ima gogo rokuji desu, ima gogo Rokuji desu, ima gogo shichiji desu, ima gozen hachiji desu. Before time, you will place gogo and gozen. Gogo and gozen before time. Rokuji, shichiji, hachiji desu. So now you can practice gozen and gogo with time. You could repeat after me. Ima gogo ichiji desu. Ima gogo niji desu. Ima gozen goji desu. 
今午前6時です。今午前9時です。今午前10時です。So as you know the numbers, you can practice 午前 and 午後 like this. Now, you have this map right in front of you. Places are listed very nicely. You can please ask time. For example, Cairo is 3 o'clock. So, Cairo wa ima nanji desu ka? London, rokuji desu. London wa ima rokuji desu ka? As, as we did places with time, you could easily look at this, look at the name of the place and ask time. Or you could also say, Rondon wa ima nanji desu ka? Whichever way you want to ask and practice time. Then we have Beijing, gozen goji. You can ask your partner. New York, gogo hachiji. Tokyo, gogo shichiji. Please, please uh, notice it is not Tokyo in Japanese, it is Tokyo, the sound of t and not t. Gogo yoji, New Delhi. Singapore, gogo ichiji. Bangkok, gozen juichiji. Sydney, gozen hachiji. So, you have all the time over here, you have the place names over here and you can practice this simple conversation that we did in the previous slide with your partner and practice time with gogo and gozen. Now, practice one more thing with your partner. This is also a simple exercise, interesting exercise. You know the time of Tokyo for sure or wherever you are staying for sure. So, you can, you can put the name of that place and ask time. For example, it is Tokyo over here. So, Tokyo wa ima gozen kuji desu. Lahore wa ima nanji desu ka? Or Rondon wa ima nanji desu ka? Or New York wa ima nanji desu ka? Pari wa ima nanji desu ka? You can ask your friend. So, now simple expression over here. So, desu ne. In case you do not know the time of the place the person is asking, well, so desu ne could give you some time to think about what the time could be, what the time difference is and then you could reply. So, this so desu ne, so desu ne, this expression, one meaning of this expression is, well, you are asking for some time, you need some time to think. Lahore wa ima gogo ichiji desu. So, a simple answer can be given in this manner. You have Tokyo, Indo, Indo, Rondon, Rondon, Dhaka. Over here, you can practice with your friend with Gogo, Gozen and Gogo again. Now, in our conversation, we had Kara and Made, which I explained very briefly. Kara means from and Made means till. This can be used very nicely with time and you could ask about what time does your, does your office begin, what time does it end, what time does the school start, what time does it finish, what time you have your lunch break, for how long is your lunch break. So, you could answer from this time till this time. So, kara and made as you can see on your screens. Now, you can practice also kara and made, kara and, kara and made, two particles from and to or until, until. So, for with time ichiji kara niji. Made. 
So, you will see that kara and made both will follow time, both will come, will be used after time. So, from 1 o'clock till 2 o'clock, you could practice like this simple use to time and then you could use kara and made as well. Now, you could also put name of something what you want to know for example, gakko, gakko, ginko or you could also use uh, kaisha, kaisha wa ichiji kara niji made this. My office is from 1 o'clock till 2 o'clock. Of course, it does not happen like this, but for practice it is all right. Gakko wa hachiji kara sanji made des or ginko wa hachiji kara hachiji kara goji made des. So, you could practice like this and tell about gakko, ginko, kaisha class from what time till what time it is. You could practice this with your partner over here, kara and made, kaigi, kaigi is meeting, kaigi wa nanji kara nanji made desu ka. So, you could answer from what time till what time. The time is given over here, you could speak out loud and tell from what time till what time. Gakko, gakko is school, time is again given, kuji, yoji. So, you could ask your partner and could get an answer for it. Then we have ginko, as I did just now on the board, ginko wa kuji kara goji made desu. Over here also there is practice, rao san no kras wa nanji kara nanji made desu ka. Kuji kara juichi ji made desu. So, again kaisha in kanji also it is given over here kanji characters are given for time kuji kara goji made. Gakko wa hachiji kara niji made hachiji niji. Kaigi sanji yoji sanji yoji. So, you could ask and get an answer. Ginko, we did ginko earlier also, hachiji, rokuji, hachiji, rokuji. Now, also we have been talking about offices of schools of class of meetings. You could also tell time for trains, for planes for bus, you could also talk about uh, um, programs, about presentations. So, in a similar manner you could ask hikoki wa nanji desu ka, meaning what time is the plane, what time is the train, what time is the departure, what time is your presentation, what time is the bangumi on TV. So, hikoki wa nanji desu ka. Kuji desu, densha, shupatsu, shupatsu, hapyo, hapyo, bangumi, bangumi, bangumi means program. Now, replace the underlined words with the words given below. There is a lot of practice for you today because this is new and you have to be comfortable with the numbers with time, simple conversation, gakko wa nanji kara desu ka, which we have been doing in this lesson so far, gakko wa shichiji kara desu. So, now what you have to do is, kaisha, you have to tell time, depato, again you have to tell time, Nihongo kras, again time, then you have juku, 
which is coaching class and piano recitaru. So, you have the time listed over here, you can ask your partner and practice like this. Now, we have done numbers till 100, numbers are important, why because you will be asking price, you will be using counters, lot of things are to be done with numbers. So, we also have to do multiples of 1000, we have done 100 multiples of 100 in our last chapter, we will do multiples of 1000. So, 1000 is sen, you could repeat after me sen or issen, issen is also used sometimes for 1000, nisen, sanzen. So, please notice it is not Sen, it is Zen, San Zen, San Zen, Yon Sen, Go Sen, Rok Sen, Nana Sen, Has Sen, and now you will see eight thousand is a short sound hasen, kyusen and it is not jusen, but it is ichi man. So, the counter for 10,000 is man and ichi is for 1, ichi man means 10,000, ichi man. ni man to 10,000. So, ni man. So, that is how you will practice your numbers please from 1000 till 10,000. Today, we had two expressions arigato and do itashimashite. I explained those two to you earlier also. Now, we have these two people A san and B san and they are walking on the road and probably A san drops something on the road and B san very nicely gallantly he picks it up and gives it to A san. So, what does A san have to say after that? Arigato gozaimasu and what does B san say after that? B san says dou itashimashite, dou itashimashite means it is all right or the pleasure is mine or mention not. Arigato of course, you know means thank you. So, these are two nice uh, expressions which you should remember, which you can use whenever you are in Japan or you are practicing with Japanese people. Now, we have kanji characters. I have been talking a lot about kanji and how it is made, how useful it is in the language, why it is essential in the language. So, now you have to learn these characters, we have, we will be doing characters very slowly, very very slowly and all the, all the words that we have done in the lesson, we will try to do those characters. Now, earlier I had told you about yama, yama. So, the character for yama is like this, it is a three stroke character, three stroke character but how do you think it has come into being? Well, when you, when you think of mountains, that is how you would draw mountains. Now, this is the peak and this is the base over here. So, like this, it comes like this. This is how a mountain is made in Japanese, in actually Chinese, because these characters are all borrowed from China. These are not original Japanese characters. So, well once again for you 1, 2 and 3. As I told you always the kanji character will end over here. Once again 1, 2 and 3, yama, 
yama. So, anytime you look at this character now, I am sure you will all understand that it has something to do with mountain. There are two readings for this character, yama and sun. The words you could remember as yamada sun, yamada sun and Mount Fuji, Mount Fuji. Mount Fuji is Fuji Sun. It is not Fuji Yama, it is Fuji Sun. Please remember that. Now we have Hon, Hon, Hon. This character you have done in Nihon. Nihon. Nihon is Japan. So, if you remember, we did this with, we did this with Nichi, which we did last time. Nichi means day and Hon over here means origin, origin or book, origin or book. So, now you can very easily understand what Nihon means. This deals with sun, this deals with origin. So, thus Jap Japan is called the land of the rising sun or actually land where the sun rises first. So, now I will draw it for you Hon 1, 2, 3, 4 and 5. Once again, one, two, three, four, and five. Ni hon. Ni hon. This is a five stroke character. One, two, three, four, and five. Please do not make it like this. or or like this. This is not how it is to be made. It is always to be made like this 1, 2, 3, 4 and 5. That is the stroke order. So, please remember the stroke order as well. Now, we have one more character for you. This character is what we have been doing in this lesson. This is G, meaning time. Now, time because sun decides the time. So, definitely we have this character over here. Then we have this over here. Now, this means sun you can you have done already. This character means temple. This means temple also. This also means temple. And it is made with the help of two thoughts, the foot and the hand. And what would the priests be doing the whole day or depending on time what they would be doing with their hands and feet is why this character has been put for temple. So, when you join these two, these are not, this, this, is, a, this is a single character. So, when you join these two, it becomes G, which is time, it signifies or denotes time. So, Ichi G, Ni G, that is how it is to be written. I will do the stroke order once again slowly for you. 1, 2, 3 and 4 and then 1, 2. Do you remember this character? This is Ju, 10 like this and like this G. Once again 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9 and 10. So, it is a 10 stroke character 
10 stroke character meaning G. It is a combination of Nichi and temple. Now, this character please do not mistake it with Dai which we did earlier in our previous chapters. Dai means big, this means origin or book and it is very different, but it looks similar as is given over here. Now, there are some words, common words with these characters. Yamamoto is a name, Fujisan and not Fujiyama. Yamanobori, this word we did in our chapter earlier is mountaineering as you can see. Then with Hon, we have Honjitsu means today or this day. Hondana means bookshelf. Hommono means the actual thing, the genuine article. Jikan means hour or time and jidai means era or age. So, you could also add this to your vocabulary now, some new words with kanji characters. Of course, at the moment you do not need to remember all the kanji characters listed here on your screen, only the ones in purple you need to concentrate on. There is vocabulary for you. We have done a lot of new words. All this vocabulary you can practice at home. I will just give you the pronunciation ones. Kaisha. You can repeat after me please. Kaisha. Gakko. Yubin kyoku. Byoin. Byoin. There is a difference in pronunciation. Bioin and Bioin. Bioin is hospital and Bioin is a beauty salon. Mise. Supa. Departo. Taishikan. Toshokan. Now it is your time to be working. Work in pairs and practice time with your partner at home. I think it is enough for today. You have done a lot of things, done a lot of practice, learnt a lot of new words, and we will end our class over here. So, Minasan, Ashita Mata Aimasho. Arigato gozaimasu. Thank you.